Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Joel, and this is A Stable Life. And today is hay. So you can see we're getting things started with a beautiful foggy morning on the farm. It is about 6.30 a.m. And to start, we've got a lot of work to do with the horses. Thankfully, I've got a nice thermos full of coffee, and this will give us the kick we need to get going this morning. <laughs> we've got a lot of work to do between the horse stable and working on the farm, it is gonna be a very chaotic day. There we go, that's the light we needed. Mm. So glad this stable has lights. So today is Wednesday, and Wednesday is a big day for hoof care here at the stable. And usually when I get here at about 9 a.m., I'm finishing up work for this horse stable right at noon. Well, it's my hopes that I get here today at 6.30 that I'm able to finish up working for the horses 9.30. And that allows me to have time, about five to six hours of time uh, to be able to work on the farm. And then of course, even longer afterwards uh, if needed. But also we have afternoon feeding. It's gonna be just me taking care of the horses today. So I hope you guys are excited because today's gonna be a big video. I gotta get grain measured out. I'll see you guys when we're letting the horses in. Well, the sun is rising, really kind of demonstrating all that fog. You can tell we're early. Horses aren't even up here yet. Good morning, Buster. Good morning, Rocky. Got your grain right here. You guys want some grain? Come on over here. See the big field horses out there? You can see them scattered through the pasture in the fog. Yeah, good morning, Buster. Hey, buddy. Good morning, Rocky. Hey, buddy. There you go, boys, there you go. All right. There's your good look of Buster and Rocky. Don't have too much time to stay and linger, enjoying their cuteness. That's for other days, not for today. See the cows are bedded down, sleeping. Now, well, since it is October and we are in <laughs> fall, it's a little hard to make hay this time of year. As an example, the forecast is sunny skies, 80s. But because it's 80s, it's not supposed to be 80s. And that means that we get a lot of fog because of that hot and cold air mixing. Which means that our amount of drying hours in the day are minimized because take a look at this fence. It didn't rain. That's just water in the air from the fog soaking everything. Even the ground looks soaked. You can tell. There you go, Roni. Good morning. There you go, William. There you go, champ. George is making his way up. Rubble and Jack are still eating. There we go. Now we got Rubble, George, and Jack making their way up. I see a lot of horses down there at the big field still eating hay. That's the only downside to feeding early is usually when you're feeding early, it's because you have a packed day and not a lot of time. Well, the horses don't care about that. They don't know what time is. So as we're waiting for the horses to come in, I can give you guys some briefings as to our hay situation. So because it's so saturated, that means that when the sun finally does come out, uh, we have to wait a little bit, which usually means now we're at one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon, and the sun sets in about four hours from that point, which really means you've only got four hours. Come on, George. You've got four hours to get all that hay bale. Uh, once it's in a round bale, it's okay if the dew sets on the top of it. That's not a big deal. It's only a problem if it's wet on the inside because then that's when that fermentation process happens and if it's wrong and that fermentation process turns straight into mold. We can't have that for hay for our horses. So that's the challenge that lies before us. Now this is what we like to see. All the horses right here ready to come on in. There you go, Obi. Oh, Poncho made his way in. There goes Danny and Skywalker. Suede is late to the party today, followed by Gavin, Argento, Tucker, Weather, Spitfire, and Declan. Come on, boys! Let's go! Time to eat! As you can imagine, the neighbors love when I'm feeding early. <laughs> so I always do hear about it from the neighbors. Were you, you must have been feeding early. I heard you yelling at six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> There's a group of horses down there that is being stubborn and refusing to leave the hay feeder. I can't blame them. Leia has completely misinterpreted the situation and has ascertained that it is time to just bark at the cows on the other side of the fence. Right, Leia? That, that's what we're doing? 
Okay, so we'll go close some doors, see how the horses are looking, and if they're not moving, then we'll have to get the four-wheeler and encourage them to come on in the barn. All right, let's see if they're making their way up. Nope, they're not. They're still sitting down there eating hay. Let's get the quad. Let's go, boys, come on. I was calling for you, wakey, wakey, let's go, let's go. That's right, Leia, get them moving. Get them moving. Let's go, boys. That's it, let's go. Now it's just a matter of a slow drive back to the stable. No need to chase the horses. They're heading back up where they need to go now. We could also see that they made a massive mess. It's because I set the bale close to the edge for them. <laughs> kids, they are kids. Also, look how cool this hill looks. That is awesome. That is so cool. Really cool stuff we're seeing right here. All right. Reflection moment's over. Let's get those horses in the barn and get started on daily care. We're burning daylight. Welcome back to Jack's stall, guys, where we are still treating his hooves, which has been a recurring theme for this entire year. What we're gonna be doing to start is taking a hoof knife or not a hoof knife, just a hoof pick, and kind of clearing out all this foreign material that can be stuck inside their hooves, which this actually is not that bad at all. Jack actually has a relatively clean hoof here. Okay, just like that. And then we are going to take Durasol, and we're gonna do right where you would put a horseshoe. See the ring? Good. But we've also noticed that the horses have thrush, which is an infection of the frog. So we're gonna take copper tox and put that right on the frog there. That disinfects that. So now we've got a nice purple green hoof. Rinse and repeat on the other three. And then last but not least, we have our hoof hardener, which is where we are trying to harden their hooves so that this is not the issue that it has been this year in the following years. Nice and pretty like. And again, this is on all four hooves. That is a change. You guys will know we were doing just the fronts or just the backs. Uh, now we're doing all fours because we've noticed that we'll get the, the section we're treating good, but the section that we're not treating will then get bad a week or two later, prolonging this joy of treating the horse's hooves this way. Ultimately, the goal is to have all of the horses clean and healthy. And there we have it, guys. After an hour and a half of daily care, doing that to a bunch of our horses, they are finally able to head out. And you can see that we have still fog it is starting to lift. The time is 9, 10 a.m. So it took us uh, almost three hours to get the morning feeding taken care of, which is what it has been averaging lately with all of that extra hoof care. We're glad to see that the horses are out. We are not able to get started raking because as I mentioned, we need to wait for the fog to lift off, which I'm sure a lot of you have been wondering, well, then why are you starting early if you have to wait for the sun to burn the fog off for you to get started on hay? Well, as you guys saw in our one of our most recent videos, we're working on planting wheat, getting ground opened up, getting those seeds planted, and that is a big job that also needs to get done simultaneously while we're getting our third cutting hay done. With this fog still in the air, I'm gonna head on over and get started on whatever jobs they need me to do, whether it's spreading manure for the cattle or getting started opening up ground for planting wheat. It's gonna be one of those two jobs. Let's see which one it is. Well, we're over on the Veggie Boy side of things and things are, well, Interesting over here. The tractor that was mowing hay is hooked up to the manure spreader, and I can see they, they are working on cleaning out this area of manure over here. It's my understanding that they are getting some more chickens, specifically egg-laying chickens. So they're working on cleaning pens and moving things around for those chickens. We got the tractor down here hooked up to the silage wagon so that they can feed silage. Looks like Daniel's having fun over in the chicken pen. You having fun in the chicken pen? Yeah, always. Always have fun in the chicken pen. We've already fed the cattle. What I'm working on right now is actually moving this silage wagon out of the way down here because it's not too big of a feed area. And then I'm uh, presuming that I'm gonna get started on spreading manure. That's the first big job that's gonna happen. So while me and Daniel are working on hay and wheat, uh, the rest of the veggie boys are gonna be working on picking the, some produce and getting those chickens set up and running. So lots of moving parts, as always. Well, this should look like a familiar sight for you guys. If you look to our left and our right, those are the fields that we chisel plowed. 
and the middle is going to be something else. So that those two fields will be strips of wheat. Uh, I think this is actually going to be silage corn again next year. And that's exactly the field that we're spreading the Kalmanor on. I think we're only going to be spreading like one or two loads. This isn't going to be an all-day job. Not that I would have a problem spreading manure all day, I just I wouldn't have gotten up early for it. <laughs> it's just good that we're getting this job done so we can move forward. Definitely a beautiful morning though, lots of geese out and everywhere, which is a big sign that you can see fall is here, winter is coming. Everywhere I look, that's what I see. Fall is here, winter is coming. And just in case you're curious, of course, Leia is chilling. She's got her own little air conditioning system down there that keeps her nice and cool. She loves looking out at the fields and, well, really, she loves riding in these tractor cabs. She's pretty comfortable in here. We are now fully loaded, and I think this is going to be my last load spreading manure. They're keeping the spreader hooked to this tractor, and they want me to just park it there. So I don't know what I'm doing after this, but I'm sure we'll find out. So let's get this spreaded and see what we're on to next. What do you say, Leia? <laughs> we have the manure spreader parked. Let's go find out what we're doing. Hey guys, so some time has passed. Uh, we took two more loads of manure out, got that all taken care of and got the spreader and hooked. Then I ran Leia home because she was getting tired. Now we're out raking hay. Now what we're working on right now is for the cows, specifically alfalfa. So I'm actually running the tractor at a slower RPM, and we're also using my tractor because they're using all of their tractors. This allows them to use their tractors for what they need, and this allows us to get the raking complete. With alfalfa, all of the nutrients are in the leaf and the leaf can get knocked off of the stem if you are raking when it's too dry. So you gotta make sure that you run the tine slow and you do it when it's slightly damp, which is why it's the first thing we're doing. When I move over to the grass hay, not as important. I can run that a lot faster and I can go a lot faster because all the nutrients doesn't get knocked out of the blades. We've got a lot of fields to do, so cue the raking montage. As a quick update, things are going very well. We have eight fields done with about eight to go. So we're, we're about halfway. That being said, I don't know exactly how much further we're gonna go after this field because it is 3.30. So the sun is already way past this halfway point. And after about the next two hours, 
do is going to start accumulating on the ground. Killing any possibilities of us being able to get hay bale for today and then we'll have to finish everything tomorrow. Which is why you saw some of the hay was already raked. I was rolling it over so that it dried down for the round baler coming through. I'll update you guys accordingly as we're trucking through the day. But things are going smoothly and I need to get right back to it. Well guys, we have the rake put here temporarily. I don't know if we're done raking or not for today. I have a feeling we are. Uh, it is four o'clock. I'm gonna get started feeding horses. Are we done for the day? No, we still have to feed. Are we done with farm work after feeding? I have no idea. Daniel's still round baling, but he has some things that he needs to do. So he's only going for another half hour and then he's stopping. So I don't know if I'll be picking up where he left off. If Brian and I will head out and collect all the round bales, if we're just pausing for today and resuming tomorrow? No idea, absolutely no idea. One thing I do know is that my thermos is full of ice cold water and that has been a lifesaver for today. All the horses are up here ready. You can see right behind them the hay fields that I still need to rake. Tractor's parked in the shade. Let's get started measuring out and let the horses in. What's up, good looking? How's it going, gentlemen? I imagine pretty nice. Looks like the whole herd is ready to head on in. So we're gonna open up the gate and let the horses in. And then I gotta race inside because we all know Duke's gonna try to go into William's stall. It's just a fact. Argento. Kobe. No, no. Oh. What are you doing, horse? Hi, Samson. Declan, you're not, you don't know how this gate works, do you, buddy? All right, there we go. You got to figure it out. Hi, nice, Racha. Champ, Archer, Gavin, Rebel, Jack, Poe, George, Roni, and William. They're all making their way up. By the way, just in case you're curious, temperature right now is in the mid 80s. That's how much the weather has changed. That's why we had all that fog. And it's gonna do the same thing tomorrow. So everything that we don't get bailed today is gonna get a whole new round of moisture dumped on it. It's just a whole process when you're doing third cutting. In regards to what we have left after today, I, I really don't know yet, because Daniel's still round bailing but it's looking like we probably will have three farms we still need to do by the end of today. But like I said, time will tell. All right, afternoon feeding is done. All of the horses are now back out where they need to be. The round baler, I don't know if you could see it, is right there. And I have no idea if he caught up to me or not, but I called Brian. Some of you guys know him as Grandpa. He is the boss. And uh, he told me to finish raking all the hay so that it's ready for tomorrow, so. I'm gonna go and keep on raking. It's windy, so we might have some extra time before the dew kicks in. Current time is 5 p.m. All right, let's get rolling. guys well things were winding down the dew started setting in so we stopped raking the tractor is parked over at that farm for the night i got picked up by brian he took me home so i'm actually in the truck at the horse stable so that means that this is going to be where we're calling an end for the video for today however make sure you're subscribed because the next video that's coming out is going to be picking up right where we left off in this one so you want to see what's going on make sure you hit that subscribe button it's completely free notifies you about every single video that i have coming out and it supports the channel so i appreciate that very much 
Also, while you're down there, don't forget to hit that like button, show some appreciation for the video. I definitely appreciate it. Helps the channel get to more people so they can enjoy the same quality content that you guys get to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.